there have been times in my life where the thing that pulled me out of being in fellowship with God, I was too ashamed to be in his presence. I talk to people all the time that say stuff to me like, Pastor, I'm in a shift of my life. I'm in a setback of my life. I'm in a test of my life. I've made so many mistakes in my life. Can I still come to church? Am I still welcome in God's presence? Does God still want to see me? Does he still want to associate himself with me? I'm going through a divorce. Can I still come to church? I'm going through setbacks. Can I still come to church? And what I tell them time after time is it does not matter what you have done. God is still calling out to you there's a there, there's a painter by the name of Bob Ross Bob Ross uh, he he would do oil paintings and every now and then mom but well, Bob Ross would do oil paintings he would mess up but he wouldn't take the whole thing and say oh man I messed up now I gotta throw this whole thing away he turned into what he called a happy accident oh, go help me preach right here And instead of throwing it away, he take that mess up and he turn it into a mountain. He take that little mess up, he turn it into a nice looking bush. He take that mess up and he turn it into some nice sprawling tree. And what I learned is that even when you mess up, you don't have to hold, throw the whole thing away. You just gotta make sure that the paintbrush is in the right hands. You don't have to throw your day away because of your mess ups. You don't have to throw your life away because of your mess ups. You don't have to throw your joy away because of your mess ups. Just make sure the paintbrush of your life is in, in the right hands. Because every last one of us will have issues in our life that the story could be that shame would keep us out of the presence of the Lord. Every last one of us have done things that would have brought us out of the presence of God's will. But I came to tell you today that regardless of where you've been and regardless of what you've done, if God is still painting in your life, don't you understand? that everyone in the Bible had disqualifiers that could have caused them to hide from God, but God doesn't need perfect people. God just needs people who are willing to put their life in his hands.